Hey, let me show you something. Come on. Come on. Here, have a look at this. Right here. All right, welcome back. It is Monday, March, what? March 6th, is that correct? Yes, Monday, March, March 6th. What? Clap it up for March. Let's go, March. Uh, March Madness is this month. Spring training is this month. Baseball, my favorite time of year. Not really a big March Madness fan. Um, the XFL is this one or something. I'm just kidding. I was just trying to reference something more relevant. Uh, baseball is more relevant. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do a baseball preview right before opening day. Uh, let's see. MLB schedule. Let's should look I up opening a, day. Should I be a Phillies or a Rays fan this year? Uh, you should be a Red Sox fan because they're going to shock the world. Oh, so I have your permission to bandwagon? I'm a bandwagon? I have your permission to bandwagon. Sure, go ahead. Perfectly nah, fine with loser. me. Uh, you won't be a loser. You'll be a Super Bowl – or not a Super I'll give Bowl. You, I'll give you permission to bandwagon the Eagles or Bucks since the Colts aren't doing anything next season. No interest. <laughs> no interest uh so i think monday march 27th our baseball preview will drop we'll talk opening day probably have michael on um no Layton or angel because you guys don't know anything about baseball um because yeah, we're based you're the opposite of based <laughs> we're too sigma for baseball no that's not true <laughs> that's just completely untrue I oh, I, I, I see. I see your debate. I see your. Debate. Oh yes, I saw it. Um, Do you like all my emojis. <laughs> the, the long penis. <laughs> yeah, and the XD and the smiling, smiley faces. Let's talk more relevant news. <laughs> <laughs> First, um, the chaotically intolerant classic. Whoa. Big, big news. Um, we have some new rule changes coming up for uh, this season. Um, we're going to be adding timeouts. And um, there's going to be a clock during the Dang. tournament, at least. Um, so you're going to have 15 seconds to play your ball, basically. Uh, 15? I feel like 10 is suffice. Let's, let's see. Let's feel 10 seconds. This is we just started at 250. So I just I just want to feel what 10 seconds feels like. Yeah, that's more than enough time. 10 yeah, seconds. 10 seconds is good. You have 10 a seconds. Block. Basically, yeah. You have 10 seconds after you lose or win the point. You have 10 seconds from the time you get the ball. So like if you score on, you know, if you score on somebody and it's all the way over there and that person is like, "Oh, I want to take my time." That doesn't count. But as soon as they get to the ball. 10 seconds the moment the ball hits the ground. No, because then somebody can just fuck them over. Shove the person, grab the ball, (laughs) rush back. That would actually be really funny. But maybe it's a little little too advanced for what we're going to do. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That may be next year. Maybe or we should year. just we should just have like one practice game where we implement that and just see how wild it goes. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we'll do that in the month of March. That would be fun. Our March Madness. That would be so much fun. Um, we'll think about it. But for this year, at least, um, you have 10 seconds from the time you touch the ping pong ball 
you know, after you get it to hit the ball. So it's basically like the baseball shot clock. And then we're adding timeouts as well. So we're going to give you three timeouts per game. They're only 30 second timeouts. So they're not long. So it's go get water, collect yourself, maybe, you know, stop momentum from, you know, from switching stuff like that. So um, everyone's going to be using them to try and stop my momentum. Um. Do you remember what happened at the last one? You want me to pull up the the I'm records? I'm kidding. I okay. would use. I that would have been good to have a timeout though. I would have used them to try and recuperate. Yeah. Well, there was a there was out. a game. It got a little close. I remember. Mm-hmm. Let's. You know what? We can. I go. started off solid in one game because I remember you saying you're hot, Layton. Yeah. I'm um, here. Like we go. That. Here it is. I want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look through. Let's. You know, let's share the screen. Let's let's give the people a little bit. <laughs> the shaky cam footage of our ping pong game. The shaky cam footage of the <laughs> ping pong tournament. I'm just sweaty in every single thing as well. So, bro, for real, I'm so glad you changed the freaking picture for our podcast. I know you're just sweating is actually repulsive. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it got up to sixteen, fourteen. I don't want to play because I think there's music that could get us copyright. At yeah, least Sony's after us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like just the first five points or something. Twenty to sixteen, twenty seventeen. Okay, I won that one. Twenty one seventeen. I think I had some of our it. closest losses of the tournament. Anyone's Maybe. closest loss? <laughs> oh my god! I need to do that. Could you hear that? Yeah, I could. Oh, okay, I didn't know if you were able to hear that. Yeah, and then yeah, well, second game I got a cream. Never mind. I I didn't play close all my games. <laughs> kind of close. Um, but uh, I know Rafi and Luca went to overtime in their. I think it was a three game set or a two game set, but I think Rafi got swept, which was hilarious. But. Mm-hmm. Um, the new format we have eight people in this one or go- we're going to get eight we currently have yeah sign up sign up you live in sarasota or yeah Tampa probably area just, yeah if you can get area. to sarasota yeah <laughs> sign we up have, we have four committed two that are pending right now so we have two completely wide open spots one one of the guys that is pending is former syracuse wide receiver i'm not going to say his name but university of syracuse wide receiver possible he owns a, a nil company um, wait i'm not pending i'm committed you're committed <laughs> hilarious so funny um let me i actually want to pull up the the format because every day <laughs> just delayed reaction on that. <laughs> every day i just get so much more excited for this uh for this tournament um, I actually need to kick Rafi out of this division. He's not going to play in our division. Um, so we have uh, we're, we're going to have four weeks of tournaments uh, or of, of the entire tournament. Three of those weeks are going to be um, like regular season play. Um, first, you start out just playing your division and they're three game sets each. So I have nine games in total, which sounds like a lot, but it actually goes by really quick. Um, and then the next week is um, in intra division play. So each division, they're all going to play each other. Um, and then the final week, um, you're going to play another couple people, basically. Um, so, and then after that, once we get to the tournament, um, that's when like the timeouts and the clock starts. More just because of the production of it. I think having the clock in the t- just the tournament right now is more of the thing we might try a few things in the regular season um so the num so it's a little different so the number one and the number two seed which are both winners of each division play to get the number one seed a one game playoff so you know let's say me and let's say Rafi wins the division and the other one because he's the only other one in the in the other division and we're me you and angel are all in the same division right now um, if he wins and I win, we would play each other to get the number one seed and the bye. Then there's a wild card game. Number seven and number eight also play in a one game playoff. You know, and whoever loses is eliminated. Gotcha. 
Then it goes number two and number seven, number three and number six, and number four and number five in that um, first round, like the wild card round. Mm -hmm. Not even, like the divisional round. The championship round, conference championship, number one seed versus the lowest remaining, and then the two middle seeds will play each other. And then, obviously, the winner of those goes on to play the championship in a seven-game series. Um, I'm going to the, be uh, there. Huh? I'm going to be I'm gonna be at the championship. You're going to run into me, so no, you're not. Um, I'm going to run into you and destroy you. Are you Are you training right now? Are you Are you practicing at all? Maybe I am. I don't think I'm, you are. I'm already on a calorie cut. I'm, that's, so I can that's be not more agile instead I've, of being big chungus. Let me tell you. I've been getting into pickleball. Perfect training for ping pong. I've, I've actually. Yeah, it's, you're going to show up to the ping pong table and be like, why is the paddle like half the size of the racket? And then start missing. Uh, it's for accuracy, you dumbass. <laughs> um, I've been playing pickleball like once to twice a week. Which it's actually quite fun. When it's with your when it's with people you like when you're playing with like randos. It's not it's not fun. It's. You're very stressed because I'm not like super good at it. I'm athletic and I can move around better than a lot of the older people can, but mm-hmm. sometimes they're just better than me. I just m- fucking miss shots. But when just you're like playing with your friend, big bong. I literally went to the championship last year. I beat you and route to going to the championship. Um, you're finals. also the commissioner. Kind of sus. Also, commissioner wise, there's some possible news. Uh, we're looking at a new commissioner. Whoa. Because I feel as though, I feel like me as a player, I cannot be a player and the commissioner. I feel like I would not make um, fully impartial decisions as a player, no matter what. So adding a commissioner, adding somebody on the outside will be helpful. Um, They can make some decisions, um, you know, Definitely not a proxy commissioner. <laughs> I don't know, man. Seems like you made all the decisions. We might, we might start a players' union. We might start a play. Well, I'm still the commissioner. <laughs> I have- You're going to be the commissioner of the players' union. <laughs> well, I'm going to be the president of the players' union, and I'm going to fight for <laughs> players' rights with the commissioner. How does it feel getting fired by yourself from your? I'm own not. Position? I haven't even quit yet. I haven't stepped down yet. <laughs> I haven't made the decision yet. Uh, and then we're going to be getting a big trophy for the winner. That's pretty sick. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what style yet. I'm thinking one of those like, like I want it to be one where it's not where we where you buy a new one every year. It just kind of travels around, you know. Hopefully, if we one day start I'd making be down to buy one every year, especially if we can find something cheap. Well, I don't want it cheap. That's the thing. Well, I don't I want it like, like super expensive, but I want to get something that's like. I feel nice. like you should get something half decent that's like under a hundred dollars. I don't. I want it to be like. When I think about it, I imagine like somebody having to use both arms to lift it up. You know, like Bruh. they lift it above their head with both arms. If you put it sideways and keep your hands together, then you can lift anything. I don't. I don't want one of those shitty trophies that they give <laughs> to like little kids Just when they spray win the... a paddle of gold. Wait, yo, who, whatever the paddle the paddle. player wins with, you spray paint it gold, that's their trophy. Why do, I think I'm just going to buy a paddle, and I'll, I'll give them, like, the golden paddle. They'll win that. They can keep that, but then they'll also have a trophy that, you know, they get to celebrate with, blah, 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 and, you know. But it, it'll rotate. Should, it'll rotate between champions. We should do it like the World Cup where the winner gets the legit trophy, and then the golden paddle goes to the best player of the tournament. Like Maybe the golden, the golden balls goes to the best player yeah. in the tournament. The person, no, maybe not the, be, well, the best player. Golden for the winner. Golden ball is for like the best, like I don't know, sportsmanship or I don't know something. Like I think that. like the the best story. That not that's not the name of it, but you know what comeback, I mean. Like comeback ponger of the year. <laughs> comeback ponger of the year. <laughs> So oh, if yeah. Rathby wins a single game, he wins it. <laughs> <laughs> just one game. You just got to win one game. Um, yeah, so 
big things, big things for us. <laughs> I'm hoping, you know, there's this is more behind the scenes talk, but once once we get that, once we get those uh, sponsors coming in, the money from the YouTube, and you know, I, I know once you get a thousand subs, you get a lot more. You know, you just you got to get a thousand before you get a million, right? <laughs> And uh, maybe maybe we'll get a little office, have the trophy sitting there, you know. Trophy case. Yeah, and a little trophy case, something like that. Um, so, yeah, uh, big things, big things. I'm excited. I want to do teams in a couple years. Make it more of like a team event, full tournament, a little bit more camaraderie between us. You know, I think that's – and, you know, you can make it – I also want to make it longer if – you know, if it gets, if we can make it bigger, I want to make it longer and trades and free agency and stuff like that. Turn this into a whole, whole ass thing, but I'm trying to not get too ahead of myself. I'm just going to stay on this one. Um, get excited. July. Well, not July for us, but July for the documentary. So, um, yeah, that was a long discussion about that. I didn't think that was going to be that long, to be honest. Um, Let's see. Let's talk. Um, this is a great moment in in history of the world. Mm-hmm. Um, this is I mean, this is not good for one person that's involved in this one or two people that's involved in this. But almost everybody else is happy that that this person did this. Um, Jackson Mahomes has sexually assaulted a club owner. Fellas, he's going to jail. Clap it up. Let's go. Yay, crime. I uh, I mean, we're just dancing on his grave. That's that's all we got to do. Um, the guy is just an utter scumbag. He has a reputation of being a scumbag as well. So let's, let's not be shocked that this happened. But um, I feel bad for Patrick Mahomes that he has to deal with this. And he's just trying to celebrate a Super Bowl title. Right? A little bit. Yeah, but I mean, all the Mahomes are actually, no, it's just like Patrick Mahomes has unfortunately surrounded him by like the worst people. <laughs> and it's, it's bizarre because like you would think his family would know how to act in the line, you know, in, in the mm-hmm. spotlight of especially sports. Cause his dad was like a long time major league pitcher. Pitch for, I think he pitched for like 15 years. So his mom hasn't been too bad, but she's had a few things where she's gone on the internet and said some stuff. Brittany Mahomes has obviously had her things with, you know, so a lot, there are people in Kansas city that say that they like her because she does a lot for the community, which is good, but she's had her own little tiffs bro, on the she's internet. She's uninstall Twitter, bro. My goodness. I know. Like, can you just then, be the Super Bowl champ's wife and leave it at that? Why Why are you responding she, to user XYZ Cuba? She just R's got or... into a beef with Joe Rogan, actually. Oh, my goodness. He he made, like, a throwaway comment about women or something, and it had to do with, with her, and she just went at Joe Rogan, which is hilarious. I mean, what a – let's check that off the bingo card. Joe Rogan and – Brittany Mahomes get into an internet feud. That's the 2023 bingo <laughs> card right there. What the fuck? <laughs> that's so dumb. That's biz- I mean, that's just the weirdest combination of people to ever do it. And then, obviously, Jackson Mahomes being the worst one of them all. None of them can handle the spotlight, except for Patrick Mahomes. You never really hear anything about Patrick Mahomes. He's quiet. He's clearly a nice guy. Like, nobody has ever had an issue with Patrick Mahomes. And he's fucking really, really talented. I know you hate him as a player that everyone wants no, to suck his dick. It's, just, it's funny you say that because if you follow the NFL Instagram page, the only thing you ever hear is of Patrick Mahomes. I mean, they just won the Super Bowl. so Correct, but literally, okay, you're not even a Chiefs fan. Don't even argue with me about it. They're the Super Bowl the entire, champions. The entire year, that guy gets milked like crazy and you I mean, are literally lying to deny it he does get milked like crazy but he also does numbies like patrick mahomes does more numbers than almost anybody out there maybe patrick travis mahomes kelsey is, does 
Patrick like, Mahomes listen, is a I, great I fucking player, hate but the... literally, he is the only person they post. It's like no other player did anything significant oh, in I a know. week. It's like, I oh, mean, you know, Pickens on, I think the Steelers made this epic catch. Let's post yeah. him for one week. The re- other <laughs> other 17 weeks is going to be Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Let's let's just have a look. Let's search even NFL. even leading up to the Super Bowl, which obviously this is Eagles bias, but oh my goodness, all the leading up Super Bowl posts, Chiefs, 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 Eagles, Chiefs, Chiefs, Chiefs. Oh my! And then the Chiefs fans in the comments are bother me beyond belief because people are like, oh well, you know, the NFL page would post for Jalen Hurts highlights if he actually had some. It's like, are you serious, dude? All right, well, right now, it's all I'm combine done. I'm done. stuff. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the page right well, now. Well, yeah, now it's all combine stuff. Combine, combine. Dude, okay, I mean, this is such a dumb – you know you are trying to obstruct this. Okay, here's you one. You are literally looking at the NFL page during the combine. February 23rd was their last post about Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> Well, yeah, because he's literally just living at home now. Once the season starts up, we'll talk. You're literally you're trying to prove me wrong by using false info right now. Frank you Clark. Know, you know the point I'm making, and you are purposely avoiding it. Um, Here's one where it's Super Bowl as heard around the world, and it's Kadarius Tony and Patrick Mahomes. Uh, here's another one. Sky Moore. Isaiah Pacheco. Here's the video of Patrick Mahomes accidentally leaving the his like Super Bowl trophy with the fans, which was utterly hilarious. Um, Travis Kelsey. I mean, I think they're feeding you more Patrick Mahomes stuff, to be honest, which is hilarious. Like the the algorithm knows you hate him, so they're just feeding it It, to you Well, it's because i look at all the comments on every single patrick mahomes post so they're like this guy must love him (laughs) here's two straight patrick mahomes posts one is him holding the mvp like football that they give all next season i am going to dm you every single patrick mahomes post that shows up on my feed here's a here's a bunch just like chiefs ones um, well, let yeah, me... I get that they're posting the Chiefs because they just won the Super Bowl. I'm talking about the regular season. They will only post Patrick Mahomes stuff. It is absurd. I'm trying to scroll down. I mean, Dude, it's Instagram, not... one of the worst scrolling apps of all time. <laughs> like, you can't, like, it's if you just, try to scroll buffering. down. <laughs> huh? It's just buffering. Yeah, it just keeps buffering. Every time, like, I scroll, like, nine photos, and then it buffers. Nine photos, buffer. I'm not doing this. I'll just agree with you. Whatever. They post him a lot. He's a fucking NFL MVP. I don't know what... I mean, listen, I don't like the Chiefs. Like, I was rooting for them in the Super Bowl, but I don't actually like the Chiefs. They're in the AFC. You act like you do. They're in the AFC. They... are just fucking stupid. They're bad. The, the Colts... Are, Colts low-key on the Chiefs. <laughs> Facts. Honestly, Joe Burrow and the Colts both own the Chiefs. Last time, last two times we faced the Chiefs, we beat them. <laughs> yeah, Patrick we beat them in the bad. AFC Wild Card game when we came back down fucking thirty at half or twenty eight or twenty seven. I don't remember the specific number. So, low key, Colts Colts own the Chiefs. <laughs> I'll second that. I also have to talk about this is in relation to this. So I started posting more reels on Facebook because I don't know. We're supposed to do it to all social channels. So fuck it. I did it. And dude, I posted one. I was talking about I was being clearly, clearly sarcastic. The people on Facebook do not understand sarcasm. Bro, you I was, might. Because my brother sent me an Instagram reel of you talking and he was f- livid with your opinion and i think you were being sarcastic what was it about it was about um little timmy watching yes yes that's so funny my brother was like dude alex is retarded <laughs> what a fucking idiot i want you to tell your brother that he's a fucking moron well, okay i only knew Layton's it was brother you're a fucking like, moron dude no no i'm I was... clearly being sarcastic I, I literally said clearly, little Timmy is going to drink a bottle of alcohol and die. That's that's sarcastic. Oh my. 
someone who doesn't know you and on top of that doesn't know that you're not that you have an IQ in the triple digits might think that someone would actually have that take. And so imagine that just popping up on the, your feed of some Oh, and and the and the um the caption I put Patrick Mahomes does not care about children. <laughs> <laughs> okay so the post itself says <laughs> says exactly what the caption also supports I anybody who knows our show would know that <laughs> that this that was completely and utterly sarcastic even the way Bro, i you're said sending it mixed signals to our audience even the way i said it was so over the top i was like there's no way like i remember when i said it i was like that's a funny <laughs> that's a funny moment. I'm gonna clip that. And I was like, there's no way anyone would think that's real. And so this this old guy comments, get a life on Facebook. <laughs> I really, I really don't like looking at I don't really look at the comments, but this is like really funny. Um, how many comments are there? There's not a lot. I mean, it didn't get a ton of views, but he says, get a life. And he was literally, I mean, this guy's like 80. I responded, elderly person understanding sarcasm on the internet challenge. Impossible. <laughs> he has no idea what that means. I know. <laughs> and then some other lady posing with her baby just said ignorant. I was like, what the fuck? What is, what is wrong with you people? And then. That's so dumb. I posted something else. It was um, about Tiger Woods. I said, Tiger Woods, you know, I'm happy that Tiger has to apologize for, you know, the tampon joke that he made because I think, oh, because like, it, you know, we're holding him to a higher standard of respecting women because like 10 years ago, if Tiger Woods made a joke like that, we'd be like, oh, at least he's not raping her, you know, <laughs> like that, you know, Tiger Woods does not have a very good history with women. So I said that and I posted the clip and somebody said, give me a break. It was a joke between friends, you kook. I mean, just again, a clearly sarcastic comment. And I said, you must not listen to our show, you kook. Just I love instigating. I, I really want these people to respond. Only on Facebook, though. It's fun to instigate on Facebook because they they just don't get it. It's very funny. Now I have to use my facebook account yeah you should start using start commenting just crazy <laughs> shit on it just to get more engagement mm -hmm. so i just that i just i love messing with people on facebook they're such morons it's like it's i think that's the worst social platform it's probably the worst to navigate and stuff and the the moment i downloaded it on my phone i just get spammed with notifications I, th I just really, I mean, like, I get, like, these notifications from, like, groups that mm -hmm. I'm a member of, but I was only a member of them because of, like, one thing. Yeah. Because I needed, a, I, I don't know, I needed access or something, and it just sends every single, fucking, all the time. For real. And I'm too lazy to shut it off. <laughs> I'm never <laughs> going to shut it off. I shut off, because I'm in a Lego group, and it's, like... I'll look at it only when I just feel like looking at it. Don't send me notifications for it. I don't yeah. care what these people are posting. And it says, like, your friend, blank, posted this. And I'm like, I don't care what you, my fucking <laughs> friend on Facebook posted. Shut the fuck up. Right? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really just – I love creating chaos. Facebook, I mean, just the, the generation that adopted Facebook ruined it. It became all the, it just became all politics and like, just crazy shit. Boomers. Yeah, boomers. It, they boomers ruined it. Most boomers ruined Face it. There's boom. a couple. There's a couple that are kind of funny, but most of them ruined it. So get off Facebook, boomers. It's disgusting. Unless you're sending capybara posts to me. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Bro. My fucking Mac, dude. It started just randomly started playing Christmas music. Well, imagine owning a Mac. Shut up. <laughs> um, I think it's because it's synced to my phone, and for some reason, it chose Christmas music out of all the things on it. So bizarre. Um, let's talk. Uh, AB, your favorite wide receiver, Antonio Brown, won a Super Bowl with the Buccaneers. 
Um, played for a Pennsylvania football team for a long time. Philadelphia's in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Pittsburgh's in Pennsylvania. Same thing. Um, he's buying an Arena Football League team. It is not our Arena Football League. Not the – what is it called? Is it What's the official name? Um, of what? Um, of our, like, Arena Football League. Because I know there's there's oh, a bunch of no them, idea. actually. There's a bunch of them. Oh, yeah, it is the AFL. Um, the Arena Football League, but he's not he's not buying an Arena Football League. He is buying, let's see. Um, he's going to buy the Albany Empire. Now, his dad, apparently, was one of the greatest Arena Football League players of all time, mm-hmm. which is crazy. Um Touchdown, Eddie Brown. Yeah. He was a part of the Albany Firebirds in the 90s. He was in the AFL Hall of Fame in 2011. Um, I'm not I'm not sure why you would allow him to buy the team. I mean, let's be honest here. Did you hear what I said? What did you say? I said, <laughs> I said, I don't know why he's being allowed to buy the team. I said, yeah, I just, I, at the end of the article, it talks about how he sexually assaulted a bun- his trainer and stuff like that. So he just shouldn't be allowed a, around a football team. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's a pretty problematic thing to, uh, to, to bring into your football league. I guess it gets eyes on him. I guess. Bro, his rap sheet. He exposed himself to a woman in a swimming pool at a hotel. I saw that video. That was crazy. He, like, he, he, he was trying to drown the girl. Dang. And then what else did he do? He threw that lawn. He threw, like, a chair off a balcony in a fit of rage. Who hasn't thrown a chair off a balcony in a fit of rage? I haven't yet, but hopefully I will. <laughs> what else did he do? Does it show everything? His whole rap sheet? Not everything, but I mean, it shows enough to be like, whoa. <laughs> let's see, let's, I'm going to look at this here. He's, I mean, listen, he's just. Why? Why Why are they allowing that? <laughs> he locked himself inside of his home and refused to turn himself into Tampa Bay police after a battery charge. Um, speaking of crazy football players, quick little headline, I guess. Zach Stacy, former running back for the Packers. Um, he got six months in jail for um, domestic abuse, which... Mm-hmm. I don't know if you've seen this video. I'm not going to show it. It's very difficult to watch. If you want to look it up on your own, you can. But it's very hard to watch. Um, just beat. I mean, he was just beating his girlfriend, the mother of his kids, over like rent or something. So he only got six months in jail, which is outrageous. I think the guy should have gotten at least five years for how badly he was beating this woman. And... The way she was like reacting, she was so calm. It was like, oh, yeah, this guy does it on the regular, this poor girl. So mm-hmm. he's only going to be out in six months because he's a football player. And I think they just gave him, I don't know, benefit of the doubt. Why are we giving benefit of the doubt to people with CTE? <laughs> I mean, I wonder what <clears throat> domestic violence like that charges normally are. Because I feel like it's also a case where you don't necessarily want to take the parent or spouse out of the house forever. But you just kind of want to put him in timeout for a while. Uh, That's, I mean, the way he was beating this girl. (laughs) Like, with really any, any domestic violence charge, I don't think you want that parent there, no matter what. Like, at least for a long time. Like, six months is not enough time to change 
Oh my god, I'm looking up domestic violence charge like average time and somebody's like the the ad put up like stop, take a deep breath. I was like, "What?" <laughs> domestic abuse is a misdemeanor assault here. Third degree felonies carry a maximum term of 15 years, second degree 15, first degree 30. I mean, I feel like this has to be a third degree, like a max um, third degree. This because I know you you haven't seen this video, but it's pretty bad. This one says uh, common assault by a domestic violence offender. The average sentence is four point six months. I but feel like reckless that's... assault by a domestic violence offender. The average time is 12.6 months did it say what reckless assault um i would assume means? just assault but a little bit worse <laughs> or like i guess they lose complete control of themselves maybe like the f common assault is just like boom but then like reckless he, now like, he kept going like he kept fucking so he might be reckless reckless assault so he, he should i mean months whatever he got wasn't enough <laughs> Whatever he got. I mean, realistically, this guy should be thrown into the prison showers and, you know, without any protection. With his hands and feet tied together. <laughs> it's funny that we went immediately from Antonio Brown to Zach Stacy and getting sexually assaulted in a shower because Antonio Brown and Jackson Mahomes back to back have both sexually assaulted women. Um, and I people say allegedly with Jackson Mahomes. I mean, the video's there, mm -hmm. the, and she clearly, in my opinion, didn't didn't want it. So I'm gonna, I'm not going to say alleged sexual assault. I'm going to say I'm going to say it, sexual assaulter. So uh, let's let's move on from a dark topic. I hate dark topics on this show. <laughs> um, the NFL team report cards have come out. That's right. Um. Let's uh, let's let's go over. Let's look at the Eagles. How about it, huh? You want to look at the Eagles? See how they did. So what is this? I've never heard of this. So this is the first year they're doing this. Um, the players decided that, uh, or the the league asked the players to grade different aspects of their of the team. So there's a bunch of categories here: treatment of families, nutrition, weight room, strength staff, training room. Training staff, locker Dang, room, and really travel. Really expose them like that. I know. Um, so let's let's look Rift for the, the Cardinals. The Cardinals had a really bad one. They went F, F minus, F minus, A minus, F minus, B plus, F B. Um, I think the card who got an F minus in treatment of families. I think it was the Jags did. Where are the Jags? Where are they? Yeah, they got an F. The Jags, I think it was either the Jags or the Cardinals made their, they basically made the breastfeeding moms just go into the bathroom and breastfeed on the floor. They didn't even give them like a special space to breastfeed. Dang. The Jag Stadium had rats. They had a rat infestation. Not shocked whatsoever that that happened, but still crazy. They had a fucking rat infestation. Um, this fucking live stream, dude. Um, let's look at the Colts. Let's go over the the Colts didn't get a good grade. I'll say that. Um, they got B plus for treatment of families. Here, let's I'll look at it here. They were 16, so right down the middle. Um. B plus treatment of families, D in food service and nutrition, B in weight room, A minus in strength coaches, B in training room, A plus in training staff, locker room in B plus, and F in team travel. Kind of makes sense about the travel. 97% um, of player respondents believe Jim Mersey is willing to spend the money necessary to upgrade the facility. Um, they said... Some players prefer to pack their own lunch rather than eat at the facility. Um, 
and the team should improve its travel policies. Um, the Colts are one of seven teams that do not offer first class seats for players. One of six teams that force many players to have roommates. Going to be honest, they, the players kind of deserve that for how they played this year. Well, maybe if they got an upgrade, then they would have played better. No, I think I think they played bad and they deserved it. Um, the Eagles. The Eagles aren't actually bad. They're kind they're of fourteen average and everything. They're fourteen. That's because it's in alphabetical order. No, oh, so. click on click on the team. Click on the team. Yeah. Philadelphia Eagles report card, fourteenth. Yeah, they're ranked fourteenth. Um, treatment of players and families. They do not provide a family room for the players' families at the stadium, unlike most of the other clubs. Um, they do have a family room for the family members of coaches and football. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up. Family room for coaches and football well, they operations. They couldn't now? provide another family room because they needed more room for the jail. <laughs> So what? They want the kids to get hit by batteries on this on the field? Like <laughs> uh, they bad get with batteries because the Eagles played well this year. <laughs> the Eagles are one of eight teams in the league that do not offer their players first class seats. Players also feel that the facilities can improve. Less than half the teams feel like they have enough hot and cold tub space. Bro, they literally um, are first in three categories. How are they 14th overall? Because they're 27th in team travel. They're 22nd in training room. And they're like average in team families. Really, the 22, 18, and 27 kill them. Because they're really good pretty much everything else. But, I mean, why? I don't even care, though. It's You should care. I'm Those are your guys. Player. <laughs> Those are your guys. Let's look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, your other team. Yeah, they did pretty bad. Oh, because <laughs> they live in Florida. Um, let's see. Weight room, strength coaches, and training staff makes sense because Brady was there. Um, they don't offer any child care or family room for players' families, unlike most NFL clubs. Players feel their locker room is small and outdated and their travel policies are uncomfortable. Well, the locker room being bad makes sense because Raymond James is a dump. Um, it's also used for USF's football stadium, which they're leaving. They're not going to play there anymore. Soon, they're building a new stadium. Um, also, they did that with the uh, overcharging of online fees for over COVID. And they still are broke. Um they're one of six teams that make a large segment of their players have roommates for road games and one of eight teams that do not offer players first class seats. So just all of our teams don't offer players first class seats. That's hilarious. Dang. Whoa, they really did that. Their highest ranking on anything is 10th with strength coach. <laughs> that's not good. Well, that's why we played so bad. Maybe if they upgraded the facilities, Tom Brady would have won his eighth rank. That's probably true. Maybe if Giselle um, had a family room, she wouldn't have divorced him and then got with her Taekwondo instructor. Commanders are dead last. <laughs> dead motherfucking last. Let's look at the Chiefs. I want to see. I mean, they're the Super Bowl champs, right? That's that's what you should be expecting. Like a good. So they're they're not good either. They're 29th. Jeez. Of 32, they're one of the worst. Yeah. The Jags had a bad one. Um, the Jacksonville Jaguars ranked as the 28th best team in our team guide. is one of the worst ranked franchises in the league. There was no shortage of complaints shared by the player respondents. When asked what number, what the number one thing they want changed at their facility, the answer was unanimous. Get rid of the rats. Players reported that for three to four weeks this season, uh, there was a rat infestation in the locker room and laundry hampers. Players feeling that the team can take better can take better care of the players' families. Uh, for example, because they do not offer family room like most NFL teams do in their stadium, we heard of instances where players' wives nursed their babies on the floor of a public restroom. That's disgusting. 
That's yeah. gross. I would be honestly, if that was my wife, I'd be so I would leave the team. Like I, I wouldn't come back next year. Trevor Lawrence, come to the Colts. Come to the Colts. We'll treat you right. We got a better grade in treatment of families. Right? I mean, not much better, but better. Um, are you ready to react to this video? Yes, I am. It's a hard watch. I'll say that. Um, are you going to stream it through the thing? Yeah. Or should I? Okay. It's, it's a difficult watch. Um, oh, hold on one second. What time is it? Okay. All right. Okay. Um, all right. Where is it, bro? Here it is. Bro. You know, I sound like a moron when I say that, but who cares? Yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm kidding. I say weird things too. Again, okay. super hard watch here. Can... Guys, he's not afraid. Hashtag taken. I'm not afraid to take a stand. Everybody, I'm taking my hand and it's hard to break together. Move the stars. Everybody. Come take my hand, this world will break together. Bring the storm, everybody. Come take my hand, this world will take together. Bring the storm. Oh. And I can't stop living this way. I'm coming out of my cage. You want a little Detroit here? It's over south of the Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I'll be somewhere. Tough watch. Eminem, look out. He's coming for your spotlight. Oh, I feel bad. Like, what that's very the, sad. He's clearly you? having a mental breakdown. But can can we just – I don't understand – why we can't just all put in our headphones and just be normal people at the airport. I mean, clearly he was something bothered him. And so that's <laughs> like, because it said freak out. Like, I feel like, like his luggage was stolen or just like something horrible happened. And so that's why he's like, I'm not afraid to. No, he, so that actually didn't show the full video. It didn't show everything, but he, it had something to do with human trafficking, and he was saying there were girls who were being human trafficked getting on the plane, and he was, like, freaking out. So he's a hero. Yeah. He's our guy. It's, like, it's the same thing with, like, the all the QAnon stuff, not to get political, but, like, or the Pizzagate thing, where they said that there was, like, children underneath this pizza place in Washington, D.C., and they were being given to the political elite, whatever. If you truly believe that and you just let it happen, you're crazy. Like you should go in there. I'm not saying you should, but I'm saying <laughs> if you believe that it would make sense for somebody to go in there and try and like take that place and like Dig get kids out of your here. ears. Little Caesars. Those children depend on it. Dig holes under pizza hut, Domino's, little Caesars, Papa John's, Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, that's, that's a tough watch. It was a tough watch. It was, uh, I think it's something we had to watch, though, because this is... Oh, awkward. Glad I wasn't in the airport. Yeah, I... Low-key, I love airports. Like I do as well. If people... Whenever I hear people say, I don't, oh, don't want to have to sit at the airport, like, if I have a 2 o'clock flight, let's fucking go at 8 a.m. Let's go sit in the airport. Let me go get some food. Some, I mean, shitty food. Not the Sarasota airport. Worst food of all time at the at the Sarasota Airport. The, they have one restaurant there. I one day I got a fifteen dollar chicken bacon sandwich. Bacon was floppy. The chicken was it was like a chicken cutlet, but it was like like this thin, like it was like razor thin. I paid fifteen bucks. Suck M M&M. and M. 
songs. I should. Maybe, maybe you would have gotten your money back. Not afraid to take a stand, baby. <laughs> but I, I love airports. We should do an yeah, airport like, draft. They're like malls with unlimited seating, and it's accessible, acceptable to fall asleep there. And actually good Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a place, like, I would sit there. I get so much work done. Like, when, when I have to travel and, like, I know I got to do stuff for the show, I get so much work done at the airport. Because I'm, spo- I'm going on a trip in April. I'm going to Washington, D.C. for a wedding. To go take over Pizzagate. Yeah, whatever the hell that is. It's the truth. Watch, we're going to get taken down for, like, conspiracy to do something. And um, then they'll know it's then we'll know it's true. <laughs> they can't take us down if we're lying. That's true. Yeah, they can't take us down. Um, but uh, um, I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, we have a five o'clock flight. So I'm just going to convince Sam. Let, let's fucking go. it. Let's go at like one o'clock. Let's get there at one. Let's hang out for a while. Let's get something to that. eat. <laughs> let's hang out. Let's get you know. Let's let's buy something at the Hudson News for the flight. I don't like fl- I don't like flights though. Flights are terrible. If you don't have a TV, let's be honest. I mean, like I just go on my phone or just kind of sit there and look out the window. I like what are you flights. gonna do on your phone? Just play chess or. Watch pre yeah downloaded Netflix episodes. I don't want to have to think about downloading a Netflix episode though. That's why you download it the second you sit down and realize, oh shoot, I need to download something. <laughs> what if? What if? What if you don't download enough? I've done that before. Then you didn't download the right things. I downloaded like I was I watching a TV show. Ant Man, and then I watched it, and now oh I God. feel even worse. What do I do now? How about I haven't seen Ant Man. I haven't seen Ant Man. I've not seen Ant Man. I heard it was bro, terrible. Also, bro. Just listen to music, dude. This is this is such a you problem right now. I'm not. I don't. I don't want to listen to music for two straight hours. I'm not a big fan of like listening to music for. I use music like more in the gym more than anything. Just listen to gym music. No. <laughs> Start doing push-ups. <laughs> Start doing push-ups in the in the middle of the aisle. I think that would be one of the most outrageous things ever. If I saw somebody doing push-ups. Yes. Um. Let's see. We got uh oh TikTok setting a time limit for uh miners. Not not coal miners, mine ores. Based TikTok. Yeah, um, I have something truly horrifying to uh, confess. The other night I was looking at my screen time on my phone. Now, I do use my phone for a lot of different things. I use it for the show when I upload stuff. Excuses. This makes me disgusted to say this. I had six hours of screen time, like, averaged per day. I'm not, but I also don't know if it also adds on my Mac. It might sync to my computer and add screen time from that because I also spend a lot of time doing stuff for the show, Mm -hmm. which I would feel a lot better about myself if it synced to the Mac because I would know. And, but I was horrified. I was disgusted. I was horrified. Um, So I think this is a great idea. TikTok. For once, actually helping the kids. For I mean, the kid is just going to figure out the password, though. Every kid figures out the <laughs> password. Now, only if the parent is a boomer or something. Like, that's just true. Literally, the parent just choose your street address. The kid will never guess it. Uses the kid's birthday. <laughs> for real. Yeah, just choose. The parent should just put their birth year for everything. The kid's not going to know that. What that kid, is. I knew my dad's or birth guess year. It. Okay, well, I also do. However, most kids don't, especially at 13. And on top of that, they're never going to guess that. I think most kids know their parents' birthdays. and their Okay, birthdays. fine. But then are they going to guess that? No, they aren't. They're going to be guessing they might. their own birthday and their street address. <laughs> anyway, 
I like the internet. I don't like kids being unattended while watching on it. Kids should not be allowed on the internet, period. I think, I don't think any of these kids, I don't think YouTube kids, well, I think they should have a time limit on YouTube kids, but any other site, you should have to like, actually, I don't like that. They get like, cool they math should, games. They cool That's math it. games is fine. I don't want to see a 12 year old on Instagram. <laughs> All right. You know, the thing, the, the clips that I post from this show, I post on my Instagram story sometimes. And there is a 12 year old that follows me. I know him. I follow him. I don't want him seeing this content. I don't want him seeing any of the, of the podcast content. I am too old and he is too young to hear the things that I say on this show. It's not too bad. It's not fine. He's little, he's little Timmy or little Tommy. Yeah, sure. He's not dumb enough to drink a bottle of alcohol, though, because Patrick Mahomes drank on camera. Yeah, that is so dumb. I kind of like how uh, good of an actor I was when I was telling that the little Timmy story. (laughs) That's pretty funny. I thought I really thought I was being super sarcastic. Mm -hmm. But I think maybe I'm just a good actor. I'm, I'm made for the silver screen. Are you just too bad at being sarcastic? No, I think I'm I think I'm pretty good at being sarcastic if you listen to the to the episode. Uh make sure to listen to the episode, Layton. Your your sarcasm is just like my dog is a golden retriever. That, I was being what? sarcastic because I don't even have a dog. <laughs> It made no sense. Exactly. That, that makes no, that is not my sarcasm. You just, you just state a lie <laughs> or just a made up um, take that you don't have. And then I'm some of them, some of them are real. I just never tell you which one's real. Okay. Um, Pretty sure. Um, is that shirt sarcasm too? Uh, if it says Super Bowl champions, yeah, it is. Is you being a Colts fan sarcasm? No, that's pure and utter. That's your chance, bro. That's pure and utter. Get out. I can't. It's too late. <laughs> um. All right. Uh. Oh, Lady Gaga. She uh she got her dog stolen. She put up a reward. The person who stole the dog then returned the dog <laughs> to Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga said, "You're not getting the reward." Cause he stole my dog, but she said there would be no questions asked in the, in the reward flyer. So the lady is now suing lady Gaga for this. This is outrageous. If you steal somebody's dog, you should be executed. Yeah, that is whack. I think you should be, I think maybe not executed. I think you should have torture the dog fed to the dog. Perfect. Just <laughs> let the dog attack you, tie him up, put beef all over, or like, you know, um, like no, just tie up, tie up the person in the corner of a room and just put the dog in there. And yeah. within a week, the dog will just eat them. Yeah, good. That's perfect. <laughs> that that person, that person who's trying to sue her does not deserve a normal life. I hope that person's name gets released, and then all the Gaga fans just attack her constantly. Mm-hmm. She should have to sit in her home. Stealing a dog is outrageous. For real, I get so. I, I just, I, I lose my mind. I lost my mind when I heard that. Thinking of anybody stealing a dog is so scummy. Like, you're just a scumbag. You're a terrible human being if you do that. Never do that, Layton. Never steal yeah. a dog. For me, it's like, okay, eating a dog depends on the circumstances. Stealing a dog, no way. What if I stole your capybara? Then you're getting killed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to feed you to my capybaras. They're going to be the first carnivorous capybaras <laughs> i heard uh i heard they i don't know if we talked about this but they eat them regularly people eat them regularly yeah i i do know that they get poached a lot somebody said they taste really good and they were considered it's kind of like the cow of south america there was one um so there was a country that like considered them an insect or a reptile so they could be um like eaten so they can legally be eaten. I don't know what it was. 
And like, it was like a group that made no sense. They were like, it, it, there was like no reason why the Capybara should be thrown into that group. I don't know what it was though, but um, yeah, scumbag. If you steal somebody's dog, if you steal a dog, stop listening to the show. If you've ever stolen a dog, stop listening to the show. We don't want your view. Unsubscribe. Yeah, don't don't unsubscribe. Just subscribe and never watch. <laughs> That's where our um, moral compass ends. Yeah, Just pretty much viewership, but subscribers, we don't care who does. Yeah, uh, Jake Paul and Tommy Fury. I guess they had a fight. I don't. Dude, I don't, I don't who care. Tommy Fury is. Tommy Fury oh, wait, is Tyson no, no. Fury's Didn't brother. Did Paul lose? I, I yeah. think I did hear about this. Yeah, Based? you lost. Tommy Fury to go? Tommy Fury is Tyson Fury's bro- little brother. Tyson Fury is heavyweight champion of the world. Real fighter. Tommy Fury, not real fighter. But he's the realest fighter that Jake Paul has faced. Dang. And so that's he beat why him. Jake Paul lost. He beat him by split decision. Which is hilarious. I mean, so funny. I love that. Because he was like, you keep saying to get real fighters, then get a real fighter. And like, he was getting real fighters, but they were old. They weren't even boxers. They were UFC. They were all this other stuff. And it was like, dude, no, we want you to see, we want to see you fight a real current boxer. Mm -hmm. And like, have him fight Tyson Fury. Well, they're not even in the same weight class. Doesn't matter. Have him fight. <laughs> Jake Paul would die. <laughs> okay. Even more reason to have him fight. I didn't I didn't even watch this past fight, but <laughs> I saw some of the shots. There were like, you know, some of his hooks. Mm-hmm. And those were the hooks that would knock out a 40-year-old UFC fighter, which is who he's been fighting. Yeah. They wouldn't knock out a real boxer. So not shocked he lost he fooled everybody some people say this is like a you know just some publicity scheme so that they're gonna fight again and he's gonna come back and win and then they have to have a third one as the rubber match and then that's when they really will fight that's what they said about the ksi versus logan paul thing and stuff which i think they did do a rematch fight but so many people are like oh it's a publicity stunt you know they're just gonna keep milking it they didn't really do it who won that I th- I think Logan Paul won the first one. But it was pretty close, though. Or not super close, but like some people consider it to be close. Um, all right, we're an hour in. Holy crap. Um, your debate. Bring up your debate topic. Yes, so my debate topic is... Would you allow kids at your wedding? Uh, what spawned this debate? Um, my girlfriend. Um, she doesn't want kids at our wedding. Which I get, because it is like the most special, one of the most special days you will ever have. And just having like a kid cry for any second of it just would kind of bomb it. So, the only... See, I'm in support of this. Like I But then there's also Is she is she talking to you right now about it? Yeah. So Dakota says you can hear me? Kind of. You're you're a little quieter. Dakota what about now? You're good. Okay. Dakota has a friend who works and she sets up weddings as part of her job and she says it happens all the time where kids just ruin a wedding. Oh, children ruin almost everything. <laughs> they ruin everything. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean they're bad. They're children. I probably ruined something at some point. You probably <laughs> ruined something at some point. I ruined my pants every night. <laughs> <laughs> I ruined my bed sheets. <laughs> um, the the only problem I guess you run into is that there are some kids that you're like, nah, they're cool. Like I. Yeah, but They're like, cool. yeah, but those are like, 
those are the ones like it's not gonna cry. Like it is a cool kid, but like yeah. for example, well, I have... kids kids you have to define an age, I guess. You have to yeah. pick an age. I would say I... probably like anything under six years old. Anything. <laughs> they're just yeah, they are what it identifies things. as. They don't count. They don't I don't even know why they're put in the census. They slash the <laughs> I don't even know why kids are put in the census. They don't even count as full humans yet. Um, That's a clippable moment that's going to get hated on Facebook. Um, But I feel like six is a little too young. I I, got to go. I got to go. You got to be double digits. Really? You got to be 10 years old. Competent eight or nine year olds. Well, that's then you then you then you keep point. doing that. Like, what if what if you have a competent seven year old? Like a competent seven I mean, year old. There's can be still like going to be old. for anyone like above five. It's going to be a case by case basis for sure. But I think because at that age, you know, you're in, you know for first to fifth grade, those kids are like okay, you know, they won't just cry randomly. They might have a miserable time because weddings aren't for kids. Yeah, but they'll just kind of cry in the corner to their mom. They won't cry out loud during the ceremony or something. Some of them will. Yeah. Some of them will. I would so just rather... ban them. The height I limit, would... right at the door. I think it's better, like... That's a, that's a really tough... I think it's more... The more of the debate is what age, because you should definitely ban children from your wedding. That's not even <laughs> a debate. Everyone should ban children from their wedding. I think... First, there is the rules of like exceptions where it's like, well, my I want my brother to be there and he's five years old, but I want my brother to be there. And then somebody goes there and is like, I thought you didn't want five year olds. And it's like, well, that's my fucking brother. Like, I would understand that. I but a lot of people wouldn't because people are crazy about their kids. Insane. Um, and I'm not a parent. Confirmed not a parent. Um, but uh, I yeah, the debate is about what age. Like, I children. feel, I feel, I feel like I would feel like trash if I literally put on wedding invitations, no kids allowed. But then no, I, I would not be think... like, hell yeah, this is my fucking wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I also think like the parents should recognize this kid is a ticking time bomb any day. Why would I bring him to a wedding in the first well, place? Then, then you just keep pushing. Let's put movies. Why are toddlers going to movies that aren't kids' movies? That's that is weird. Why are they in? Why like even, why do like even at what, church? Like there's literally a, a thousand Sunday school classes and programs for the kids, and there's still like a cr- crying kid every week. Hell nah, Sunday school weird <laughs> as hell, bro. They they always got they always got some guy they always got some guy that that has been saved. You know, he comes up and he goes, <laughs> what the, what, is, what he, ha- he, he gives like a little presentation. Were you Catholic? <laughs> I wasn't cat. I was like Christian for a little while. Not religious. Also confirmed, not religious. Me and God, we got our own relationship. Um, <laughs> when, when, when I'm at the gates of heaven, I'm dapping God up. I'm not, I'm not praying to him. I'm just dapping him up. I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, Hey, he's how you doing? Say, he's going to say, who are you? <laughs> I've prayed a few times. I do pray. I pray every once in a while. I don't pray on the reg, but I pray. Um, but usually they find some some guy and he, he like travels to the all the churches. Ex pedophile. Usually an ex pedophile, or he's like, you know, I used to go to so many parties. And I did so many drugs and I drank so much and I had so much sex with these random girls. But then I found the light. I mean, listen, guys, I had so much fun having sex with these random girls and doing drugs at these parties. But then I found the Lord and now I go to bed at 830 and it's awesome. OK, it's like, dude. That doesn't it's sound- crazy that you're not even entirely wrong because I've had a <laughs> pastor exactly like that. I haven't had a most of my Sunday school teachers were always women, so it wasn't or like older old ladies, so it wasn't weird. But I have had a youth pastor like that. It's just by and the they always try crazy. I just remember I would go to the Sunday school and 
it was like it was at one of those like bigger churches it was you know it's a Chris, it wasn't a catholic it was a christian church yeah. and they had like you know they played guitars and they <laughs> did the whole weird at like weird you know thing and oh, um concert. again like i'm i hope people don't take this as offensive because i don't care what you know i don't care what religion you are i don't care what you know whatever just not my thing but they had a sunday school place and it was like you know they had a bunch of playgrounds and video games and it was actually really cool and then they would like sound this alarm like at eh, eh, eh. and i'm like are we getting sent to the slaughterhouse what the fuck is going on <laughs> and we walk into this sat like into the stage you know like basically like a sound stage mm-hmm. and we all file in and like they would come in and this youth pastor guy would just come on he's like what's up kids you know like basically the steve buscemi meme of like what's up fellow children what's up fellow kids and he like has a guitar with him and he's like so let me let me talk to you about god you know and he yeah he's hyping y'all up and like in those all those memes he actually turned his chair around like he had a chair and he turned around and like sat you know like backwards in his chair i was like yeah like he's on your level I was like, something. oh, my God, what is, as, as like, a 10-year-old, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and then, like, they did these weird games, like, doing trivia about the Bible. I was like, I don't read the Bible. <laughs> Just Bible trivia? <laughs> this I was weird like, game? <laughs> I was like, trivia. well, not a weird, well, they did other games, too. It was they, bizarre. I have had churches where they just do the really weird stuff and just yeah. like eating challenges like i don't want to watch anyone do that and why am i doing it on sunday morning like two episodes ago <laughs> yeah but that was like once in a blue moon and on just like what yeah. was it saturday or sunday night or something i think it was sunday night we did it on a sunday night yeah but then it's like sunday morning how many milkshakes can you down and then like it's like you're like i'm going? in my church clothes <laughs> For real. and it's just like they you know and then obviously they would do other i guess kind of normal kid stuff whenever adults plan things for kids it's just not it's it's not right it doesn't feel right you know it feels forced Anytime, like, an adult would plan a a thing for a kid, like, for, like, a large group of children, not for, like, your parents planning something for you. Like, that's Mm -hmm. normal. But, like, if they're planning it for, like, a large group and they're, like, trying to relate to the kids, it never – it always felt forced. Yeah. I think it's also, like, a problem – of course, this this I haven't. Some of these Sunday school problems are relatable, but not with every church I have been. But I do think it's also like, like the Sunday school teachers are like, oh, I felt a calling to do this. Not necessarily that they're good at you know, yeah, riling up kids and stuff, and actually making you interested. <laughs> yeah. They're just people who wanted to do it, so they, they, the church put them in charge. Oh yeah, you felt a calling to do one day a week for an hour in the morning. <laughs> hey, I mean, what's this? <laughs> I feel called to do this podcast. Um, you don't know about how many hours I put in. Okay. Well, for me, it's one hour a week. <laughs> Once a week. One hour and twelve minutes a week. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, in the chaotically intolerant classic. Let, yeah, that's true. Um, let's get back, I guess, to the to the debate. <laughs> the I want to get back to the debate. Um, children in movies. You cannot bring a baby into a movie that is not for a baby. They yeah. say, well, what the parents need. <laughs> I sound like such an asshole right now. But they're like, the parents need to do stuff, too. And I'm like, just get a babysitter. For, for like two or just hours. pirate the movie at home like everyone else does. Yeah, well, well, the movie theater experience, to be honest. I get that. Oh, so you can watch Ant Man 5? Like, come on now. <laughs> at this point, the best movies being made aren't even going to theaters. No, there's a lot of good movies coming out this year. Because it's if it doesn't have the Marvel label, it ain't being shown. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what? sorry. All of all eleven of our theaters are reserved for Ant Man Five, <laughs> and they're all going to be packed because these Marvel people are everywhere. 
<laughs> you said that like a derogatory term. It is. <laughs> These Marvel people. <laughs> you sounded like a racist Southern man. <laughs> yes. Um, air, you know, airplane children on airplanes is a big topic too. And I feel like that it's more on the airlines to do something about that. I feel like I it's feel kind like of something that's inevitable. I feel like no. I feel like what should happen is there should be. I mean, I don't know the logistics of this, but in a perfect world, there should be like family flights, and then like non-family flights. So, like, if you're traveling like with your family, and you have a bunch of kids, you should go on that family flight, and you can all be miserable together. But if you're just like you know, you're a business person, you're like college kids, you're whatever, you should be able to go on a different flight and maybe pay a little bit more or just have like a little bit more of an expensive plane for non families. So you don't have to deal with them. I know that sounds like segregation, but let's That's be honest. too idealistic. I, feel I like don't want to have a fucking screaming baby in my bad. ear. I mean, I feel like the solution is to just add like a family room on a plane, just like a second bathroom. That's twice the size and it's just a seat and it's super in, like sound suppressed. Yeah, they could do that. But then that would also invite all sorts of shenanigans. <laughs> it's absolutely a sound, quiet. A private soundproof, soundproof, soundproof room? <laughs> Meant for families. A private soundproof room for making families? <laughs> So there's basically no solution. That's what we found out. Just ban babies from <laughs> babies must stay in the state that they were born forever until they're a competent ban- age. Ban babies just from being outside the house until they're probably five years old. <laughs> then they can they go work in the everything. coal mines. Chaotically intolerant is at war with babies. Children children crave um manual labor. They do <laughs> they you know they buy that like people buy like kitchen sets, they buy like dump trucks for their kids. They crave That's manual true. labor. Let's start putting them to work. Help this economy. You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. All right. You know how many kids play these little like simulator games? Fast food simulator, fucking lawn mowing simulator. Papa's pizzeria. Pizza, yeah, pizza simulator. What what's what's that thing called again? Uh Pizza Gate? It's it's Pizza Gate is actually they just have kids working cooking pizza. At Chuck E. Cheese's. Underground, <laughs> underground Chuck E. Cheese. They they make all the pizza. <laughs> um but yeah, I think uh no kids at your wedding is that's a perfectly understandable thing. Yeah. Like they just cry out loud. They they think it's socially acceptable to just start screaming. Mm-hmm. If I did that, I'd be shot. I'd love to be a baby though. That would be kind of sick. The only downside is pooping your pants, which is, <laughs> isn't even a downside. You don't got to get up. Yeah. And you're wearing a diaper. So yeah. We're babies for too damn short. We well, need to once, be babies for once a we long. hit like 85, 90 years old, we just return to babyism. But you're not like loved like a baby is, you know? That's Which true. is sad. It is sad. Like people well, that's like why banish- you gotta spend that middle part finding people who love you enough to treat you like a baby again. A lot of people banish their elderly because they're too hard to take care of, but they have a baby and they're like Oh, look at this cute little baby. It poops itself. Oh, it farted. It drools everywhere. Grandpa poops himself. He's disgusting and repulsive. (laughs) (laughs) Baby versus elderly. Fight. (laughs) Tier rank baby versus elderly. (laughs) Baby's going to get S tier. I think a lot of people would rank baby S tier. (laughs) Babies are not S tier. They're S tier if you don't have a baby. Babies are sick when you don't have a baby. 
Like, I, I love babies. They're adorable when I don't have a baby. But if I had a baby waking me up at 3 a.m., bro, I, I would hate the, I would hate babies. I would love my child, but I would hate babies. <laughs> I love my child. I just hate its baby form. <laughs> <laughs> I hate everything it does. I love my kid. I'm going to make it into a mini me, but good Lord, I hate that baby. <laughs> got to feed him, bro. Just fend for yourself. I don't... Fucking babies. Um, all right. Anything else? I think that's all. Um, number. Um, let's go with... Uh, five. I'm feeling low, but my five? second, my second choice would have been eight, just in case if it lands on eight, because then I'm gonna go crazy anyway. And so I just I'm gonna cut to it out that. if it lands on eight. I wanted to put that in out there, so I wasn't crazy if I was like, oh my goodness, I was gonna pick eight. So you said five and eight. No, five is actually my pick. But I was I had eight in the back of my mind as well for some reason. But five is my pick. Five. Okay. All right. I'm going twenty nine like normal. Um <laughs> I think we're just gonna start making everybody whatever their last number was, that's their number for this week. So Angel was fifty two and Carlo was six. Because I want everybody to pick a number every single fucking week. Gotcha. <laughs> so we get a four percent chance. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't want you guys to win at all. I never want you to win. I want to win. I'm going to win right here. Three, three, two, one. Here we go. Bro, this is so Dude, high. another high. No-, <gasps> no way. What did Angel take? 50. Angel took 52. It is 56. Dang. Dang. 56. Um, all right. Um, thank you, everybody, for listening. Make sure to like and subscribe on this. Absolutely destroy that subscribe button on YouTube. Hit it with your nose to prove that you can. Hit it with your heart to prove that you love us. <laughs> Hit that notification bell. Hit the hit the like button. Um, comment. Comment something you thought was funny from this episode. Comment pie to tell us that or to show us that you listened this far. <laughs> comment or uh, share this with your nipple. Okay. Male or female. Share this with the... <laughs> Any 12-year-olds you know that are using social media? No, 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 no. Don't share this with 12-year-olds. It actually comes up as not good for children. So we are good human beings. (laughs) What did you say? Nothing. I said because we hate babies. Yeah, we do hate babies. We don't want babies watching our shit. If you're a baby (laughs) listening right now. Don't ruin our show, babies. Stop watching. If you're, if you're a baby listening right now, I don't want you. To, I don't want you to watch or listen. But go like and subscribe on the YouTube. Um, help us out. That really helps us more than anything, honestly. Um, and uh, we'll see you next week. Uh, love you, Leighton. Love you, Angel. Love you, Carla. Love you, Alex. Love you, Angel. Love you, Carla. Bye.